Hello. Thank you for visiting the Other Woman and Man Stories channel. Don't forget to subscribe. And here we go. James and Caitlin met at a mutual friend's birthday party. They were both already in their 30s. Back then, James worked as a programmer at a small IT startup. After work, he enjoyed reading, working out, and occasionally going to bars with friends. James was a calm and reasonable guy. Caitlin worked at an insurance company. She loved dancing, loud companies, bright dresses, and shopping. Caitlin had a passionate character. She was impulsive and emotional. At the party, they immediately noticed how different they were as people. James was annoyed by Caitlin's expressiveness and her too loud laughter. And Caitlin considered James a boring nerd. But fate kept bringing them together. At birthday parties, get-togethers at friends' places, joint evenings at cafes. Gradually, as they met more often, they began to notice pleasant qualities in each other. James appreciated Caitlin's cheerfulness, her ability to enjoy every moment, and the impulsive Caitlin began to be attracted to James's calm nature. Thus, finding a harmony of opposites, they started dating. After about a year, they decided to get married. They didn't want a lavish wedding. They just registered their marriage. The parents of both newlyweds were upset with such a modest ceremony, but they couldn't convince their adult children otherwise. After the wedding, James and Caitlin happily lived together for about two years. They enjoyed weekend walks in the park, holding hands and sharing plans for the future. They loved having cozy romantic evenings at home by candlelight. They cooked exquisite dinners, discovering new recipes. They traveled a lot, eagerly planning trips to different corners of the world. It seemed they had caught their star of happiness. The only downside for James was that Caitlin didn't want to have children. He hoped that over time she would change her mind and their family would grow. However, over time, changes came into their lives. Caitlin unexpectedly lost her job at the insurance company. She was forced to stay at home, sending out resumes and going to interviews looking for a new place. Because of the forced idleness, Caitlin began to get bored and was often in a bad mood. She just didn't know what to do with herself. She started regularly throwing scenes of jealousy at James for various reasons, because he came home late from work, talked on the phone for too long, met with friends. Every evening, there were hysterics and scandals over trifles. Caitlin yelled that James didn't love or appreciate her. James barely managed to refrain from responding rudely. He understood that Caitlin was just going through hard times. But keeping calm day after day was becoming more and more difficult. Every morning when James left for work, he met his neighbor Allison from the apartment above in the elevator. She was a young single mom with two little kids. Her eldest son was five years old and her daughter was three. James always asked the boy about his affairs, asking him various questions. These short morning conversations in the elevator became a kind of ritual for them. And James even missed the boy a little if he didn't see him for a long time. One day, Allison entered the elevator, unusually gloomy. As usual, James and her son shook hands. James just nodded hello to the woman. James, I'm sorry, Allison said quietly when they were already on the first floor. I want to ask you something. Yes, Allison, what happened? James asked sympathetically. Could you please, um, make love to your wife more quietly next time? Allison was clearly embarrassed and didn't finish her sentence. I'm trying to put my daughter down for a nap around that time of day, and you make so much noise. James was stunned by such a request. Maybe the sounds are coming from a different apartment, or the neighbors upstairs, but an elderly couple lives there, they are unlikely to be the source of the noise. Realizing the meaning of Allison's words sent shivers down James's spine. He desperately hoped he was wrong in his conclusions. Allison, of course. Sorry about that, James mumbled, trying to smile amiably. Could you tell me when exactly this was happening? He added carefully. Yes, just yesterday afternoon, and on Monday too. Don't you remember yourself? The neighbor said and abruptly fell silent, apparently realizing why James had asked that question. 
The man nodded in response and, saying goodbye, quickly walked out of the entrance. For a long time he sat in the car, digesting the information he had heard. He didn't immediately decide how to act and how to catch Caitlin cheating. But eventually a plan ripened. He would have to ask Allison for help. The next day, James deliberately returned from work later than usual. The lights were already on in Allison's windows. That's what he needed. Going up to the floor above, he rang the bell of her apartment and waited a long time before he was finally let in. James, did something happen? Allison was surprised by his late visit. Children's laughter could be heard behind her back. Without going into details, James asked Allison to call him immediately the next time she hears suspicious sounds from their apartment. Allison nodded slowly, apologized again, and promised to help. Allison called three days later. James had spent all those days in a strange state of anxiety and restlessness. He slept poorly, smoked a lot, and was constantly snapping at colleagues and Caitlin over trifles. James understood very well that what would happen very soon would forever change his life. He raced home as fast as his car would allow. He was afraid of being late. Unfortunately, the elevator had just gone upstairs. James swore under his breath and ran up the stairs, skipping steps. He heard Caitlin's moans as soon as he crossed the threshold of their apartment. There were another man's shoes in the hallway. Growling with rage, James burst into the bedroom. There in their marital bed, he caught a naked Caitlin in the arms of a skinny young man, 20 years old at most. His face seemed vaguely familiar to James. Later he remembered, it was a courier from the local delivery service who had often brought them groceries. A hurricane of a thousand conflicting emotions raged in James's soul. He felt both funny and offended. It was funny that Caitlin had cheated on him with some teenage courier. And it was painful to realize the deep betrayal. James laughed mirthlessly. Couldn't find anyone better for an affair, dear? Caitlin snapped back, none of your business. The young lover stood frozen, unable to move. His eyes were full of horror. James even felt a little sorry for him. He moved away from the door, letting the guy through. When he tried to slip past, James tripped him, and the hapless lover sprawled on the floor. Caitlin cursed her husband, but James's gaze made her fall silent. James sat on the young lover's back, thus pinning him to the floor, and took off his belt. The guy tried to break free, but James spoke in a calm, even voice, threatening him with serious injury and death. This threat calmed the young man down. What should I do with you? Since your father didn't tell you that it's not nice to sleep with married women, I'll have to do it myself. Caitlin tried to save her lover from punishment, but after getting a couple of slaps, she calmed down and returned to the couch. For two hours, James told the boy how immoral it was for him to get involved with a married woman and how hurt the cheated husband felt because of it. Striking the young lover's buttocks with a belt, James often asked rhetorical questions. Aren't there enough unmarried girls in the world? Why seduce someone else's wife? After about two hours, James finished his monologue in punishment of the young man. Humiliated, with a red burning ass, but with new useful life experience, the young man shot out of their apartment like a bullet. James hoped that after this the guy would no longer make such stupid mistakes in his life. After Caitlin's affair, James was forever disappointed in his wife. She seemed to him to have turned into a completely different person. The next day, with a heavy heart, James filed for divorce. He could no longer live with a woman who had betrayed his trust. The division of property was painful. They had to sell their cozy apartment in the city center, the place where they had been so happy. Caitlin rented a small apartment with her half of the proceeds from the sale of their apartment. But the frivolous woman quickly squandered the money, indulging her fleeting whims and giving in to shopping. She had to return to her mother's cramped apartment, cluttered with things and two cats. With her quarrelsome character and unwillingness to have children, Caitlin doomed herself to loneliness. Men her age dreamed of family and children, and young men saw her only as a one-night stand. Every evening she lay on the creaky old couch in her mother's cramped apartment and grieved. 
memories carried her back to their big bright apartment filled with love and happiness. Tears welled up in her eyes at the thought that their family had fallen apart because of her stupid act. And this lost love would never come back. After the divorce from Caitlin, James experienced disappointment and pain from the betrayal. He worked a lot to numb his feelings. After selling their shared apartment, James rented a place for some time and six months later bought a small, cozy studio apartment. Gradually, he recovered from the divorce and past relationship. James met a nice girl named Kayla, who worked at an art gallery. Two years later, they got married. James and Kayla had two children. He was happy in his second marriage and grateful to fate for his new love. That's the story. Share your thoughts in the comments about this situation and the behavior of the spouses. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and be sure to like this video. It will greatly help promote the channel. Take care and have a wonderful day.